Hello, welcome to The Update. I'm Susie Thompson. Australia's experienced its deadliest 12-month period on our roads in nearly 12 years. New data shows 1,327 people died on Australian roads in the 12 months to the end of July, 123 more than the previous year. Deaths in New South Wales are up by a massive 17%, 9% higher in Victoria and around 3% higher in Queensland and Western Australia. The Queensland Government's 50-cent public transport fares appear to be paying dividends. It was hoped the initiative would increase patronage and in turn reduce congestion on the state's roads. Public transport advocate Robert Dow says it's doing just that. Our reports are that the light, Gold Coast light rail is already greater than pre-COVID. Patronage across SEQ is starting to get very close to the pre-COVID patronage and on certain days it's actually exceeded it, which is good. More than 58,000 new jobs have been created over the past month, continuing to put pressure on the Reserve Bank about interest rates. Australia's unemployment rate climbed 0.1% in July to sit at 4.2%. The slight increase is due to a lift in workforce participation. Many more people are actively looking for a job, confident they'll land a role. High school students across Australia are being invited to participate in a kids' helpline bullying session today. The session can be accessed virtually without charge. 85% of Aussie teens have told Kids Helpline they've experienced bullying. Sport and entertainment are next. In sport, NRL's top-of-the-table clash lived up to expectation last night with a storm beating the Panthers by just two points to sit atop the leaderboard. But there's been an enormous blow for Penrith with star halfback Nathan Cleary suffering a shoulder injury. Scans today are expected to determine the extent of the issue. In tennis, Alex Dimonor has confirmed he will play at the US Open despite recent injury struggles at Wimbledon and at the Olympics. In entertainment news, US police have arrested five people over the death of friend star Matthew Perry. Prosecutors have blamed people of taking advantage of Perry after he slipped back into drug addiction. Two doctors are amongst those charged after toxicology reports showed Perry to have a huge amount of the horse tranquilizer ketamine in his system. And that is the latest from the Nova podcast team. We'll see you later on for another update. I'm Susie Thompson.